Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Welcome back everyone. Good morning to you. Happy Wednesday. So it is another cold morning, but we have beautiful weather on the way for our Wednesday, just like we had pretty nice weather for Monday and Tuesday. Our temperatures are mainly in the 40s. A couple of our towns are in the low 50s. It's 49 degrees here in Baton Rouge. And as we take a wider look at temps around the area, 46 in Denham Springs, 43 in Liberty and 41 in Macomb. Our dew points are in the 30s as well. We still have cooler and drier air still making its way into our area behind the weak cold front that passed through for Tuesday and still just moving in in through the area this morning earlier this morning. But looking at satellite radar, so still some high clouds present high wispy clouds over our area. But again, they'll just continue to clear out a little bit more later today and we'll have plenty of sunshine. Now yesterday's high temp reached 66 degrees. Today will stay a little bit cooler as we have another shot of colder air moving in behind the weak cold front that I just mentioned. Highs will likely just be staying in the upper 50s for some of our towns, while a couple of other towns could reach 60. 57 for Liberty, 59 for Zachary, Baton Rouge, and 60 for Plaquemine, and also for Gonzales. Overnight lows will be in the 30s, so it will be very cold on your Thursday morning. Make sure you have on your coat before heading out, and of course, make sure the kids are layered up well, too, before leaving home tomorrow morning. 36 for Baton Rouge is the overnight low temp, 38 for Plaquemine, and 36 for Napoleonville. Highs will be in the low 60s for tomorrow, near 60 for Woodville, 62 for Baton Rouge, and 64 for Gonzales. So high pressure is still in place, nice weather, dry conditions, still have northerly wind flow. Then as high pressure shifts east over the next day or two, then we have that southerly wind flow returning to our area, bringing in the warmer air and more moisture from the Gulf. So that will help it to be warmer and more humid as we get to the end of the week. Taking a look at the next three days, so highs in the low 60s for Thursday, overnight lows in the 30s. Then once that warmer air builds in, we'll have overnight lows in the 40s for Friday morning. Highs will be in the mid 70s on that day, and then our lows will be near 60 Saturday morning, and highs will be in the mid to upper 70s on Saturday. Now rain chances will be the highest on Saturday. That's the day when that next cold front is moving in, so we could possibly get a slight chance of showers on Friday, but mainly just concerned with getting rain on Saturday. Saturday, and then our rain chances decrease again for Sunday. So the cold front passing through on Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms will develop more so for the afternoon and evening hours continuing into Saturday night. We could still have some showers lingering during the overnight hours into Sunday morning, but behind that cold front we will have the cooler and drier air returning again. The rain will clear out as the front moves away from the area and then Sunday will be a cooler day. Now the storm prediction center still has a little bit of our area under a severe weather threat for Saturday. Now it's mainly covering northern, central and southwest Louisiana, but a little sliver of the greater Baton Rouge area is still covered, including Point Coupee Parish, West Feliciana, Wilkinson and Amite County, Mississippi. Now looking at your seven day forecast, so we'll be staying cool for another day, warming up into the 70s on Friday and Saturday. Cold front is here over the weekend. Then once the front clears out, we have the colder air returning again. Highs would just be near 60 for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. 